I have created an automated invoice software that can be used in any types of business. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this automated invoice software. Okay, at first, I need to write down here the customer name. Okay, then I need to write down the address of the customer. Okay, now I need to add the mobile number, then I need to click double click on this box then just paste the number okay i've completed the customer details now i need to add the item or products in the list so to add any product i just need to simply click over there when i click here all of the products will appear here now i need to put the product name for example the product is jelly just to line it right down here j then the product will be appear here and as well as the price will appear here automatically then you just need to simply write down the quantity for example it is one piece then still write down here one piece then click your enter then the price will be added here if it is two code two then write down two then click enter then price will be added here automatically okay now adding here the second product um, for example it is paper towel just simply a uh, type p then here the product will be added here automatically i don't need to write down the whole uh, product name i just need to write down one or two later of the product then the price will be added here and then i need to write down just simply quantity then press enter and here you can see the total price is added here so okay in this way you can add as many product as you want so i think it is the easiest way to add okay after adding the product then you just scroll it down and here you can see the grand total will be added here with the tax or bat and you don't need to do anything it will be uh, done automatically okay if you, here you can see the payment method if you click over there then here you can see the payment method you can select any payment method that the customer is willing to use for example customer pay you through mastercard you need to select their mastercard then click here or press here enter okay and here you can see card now just need to simply double click over there then you need to write down the card number of your customer okay then your invoice is completed totally so you may have any questions that where i found the product list and i'm showing you how i found it here you can see one options add new products if you click over there then you can see all of the product are listed here that means here's all of the product list of your business whenever you have any new product or you need to add new product just simply click over there and you need to add your new product when you add any new product then this product will be added here and you will be able to select this product automatically then if you click over there back to invoice then it will be back to invoice again and you can use this invoice or write down anything okay and here is another option you can see the color option here are five color if you would like to choose the color of this invoice you can do it for example if you would like to prepare red color invoice then you need to simply click over the right then the invoice will be looking like a right so i think you uh, you can use this color change options to change the color of your cv and here is the third color the fourth one and the last one so you can uh, select or choose any color you'd like to have okay then here's an option you can see preview if you click here preview then you'll be able to find your uh, invoice how it will be looking like i'm clicking here preview okay and the real look of the uh, invoice will be looking like this okay now i need to click the escape button of keyboard okay then i am back here again okay now here is another option print if you need to print this invoice then simply just need to click over there okay here you can uh, see the invoice now the last two digit are 40 just remember it okay for example if you have completed this invoice then you are um, willing to create new invoice then simply just need to click over there new then they will ask you do you want to create a new invoice just simply to click over the yes then the new invoice will be appear here and here, here you can see that last two digits are 41 the previous one was 40 and it is 41 and the previous one will be saved automatically when you click here new one okay now i'm showing you where the invoice now 40 was saved 
okay to see the all the reports or all the invoice what you ever you have so far prepared just need to simply click over the report okay and here you can see the invoice pdf now is 40 that means the invoice is saved here okay here you can see the invoice 40 that i uh, complete or made is added here and here you can see the customer name i added the address of the mobile long the grand total the payment method and the mastercard long. everything is added here and you'll be able to find everything from your reports in this way and if you click over there then you will get the pdf of this uh, invoice okay now i'm showing you how the invoice pdf will be looking like this just simply need to click over there then click over there okay okay here you can see the pdf that i just prepared for my customer and here you can see everything is edited successfully okay now i am going back to my invoice page that just simply need to click over here back to invoice okay then i have back here again and here is another option you can see here log out for example if you'd like to go out of shop or your manager go uh, would like to go out of shop then you just need to click here log out to ensure the safety or security then i'm clicking here log out then they'll ask me do you want to log out then clicking here yes then it will be logging then simply need to click over their cross okay cross here again okay now i'm um, another time i would like to log in my invoice software so to log in i just need to simply click over the invoice software then it will be logging okay whenever you cl click here login then we can't access without having the username or password you must pay your username or password to log in in the invoice software so it is really secure okay here i'm uh, writing down the admin name or the username and it is admin typing the password okay it is one two three four i used here then click here login when you click here login then again you are back in your invoice software now and you can use it again in normally okay here is another option you can see change password if you'd like to change the password of this invoice software then you can do it too then i'm clicking here to change password and here you can see username add me password one two three four it is the existing uh, username and password now i'm changing it to new one then just simply i need to edit this username here i'm writing the username um such as a b c d and typing the password um six seven eight nine for example okay after after writing down the username and password then you need to click over the outside of this box then again you need to click over there back to invoice okay then again i'm logging out from this invoice click on the cross okay now again i'm uh, logging to show you that whether the password works or not then again click over okay there um the software is asking me to put the password i'm typing the username then password then click here login but you can see here invalid username or password as i just changed the password newly then i need to write down the new password here to login it is a b c d and the password was six seven eight nine then i need to click over their login and here you can see i'm successfully logged in here so i think uh, you already got the idea how to change password and whether it works or not you get the idea okay here you can see the another button is help if you find any difficulty to use this invoice then you just need to simply click over the help then here you will get the instruction regarding how to use this invoice then it will be easy for you to use it without having any problem okay and here the last function and option is exit if you'd like to um, exit from the whole excel application for the day then um, you need to click over the exit then it will be um, exit from the whole excel application and here i'm clicking here exit then they will ask you do you want to exit then click your yes then it will be going out of this excel application totally 
okay so if you need such type of invoice for in for your business then you can contact me and contact details will be given in the video description